what is up aquarius happy fourth of july you made it to another day all right you know a lot of us do not celebrate holidays but you know you made it to another day happy fourth of july please be safe out there okay um it's a lot of energy going around i mean especially on these youtube streets but we're not going to focus on that but a lot of y'all definitely could be going through some type of spiritual attack to where people you may not know that you're going through a spiritual attack because you never know what somebody is doing on the inside or indoors but at the same time um this is the perfect time to just continue to move forward i always tell y'all to always move forward in general because people will sit there and try so much to wish hard on your downfall but one thing that they fail to realize once you have that spark once you have that passion nobody can ever come and either put it out you know when you think of since you know today's the fourth of july when you think of a fire um some type of firework or anything remember when you was little and you had those poppers and those poppers would stop you have a lot of individuals that they have poppers and it's, it's like it stops you know they have passion for a quick five minutes and i'm not talking about sexual i'm talking about just in life some type of gold or something but a lot of you are that firework a lot of you are moving forward continue to move forward being happy going on you know doing things in life where you need to if you're at a place and that's why i, I am kind of like um separating a lot of individuals from my spiritual tribe because i do see the low vibrational ones and i do see the high vibrational ones i feel like if you are not high vibrational or you just so negative all the time or you feel some type of downness then this is not the spiritual family for you please unsubscribe remove yourself and go find your own spiritual family and i'm just keeping it real i really don't care about how many subscribers i have reason being um i know youtube is actually putting everybody's subscribers on front street that has them hidden i'm not worried about the number it's not the quantity it's the quality for me if you've been rocking with me you know i always say that so just keep that in mind don't have yourself in a situation or place yourself with my spiritual tribe and you're not for us okay or spiritual familia okay so i want to tap into this energy for those who do not know me my name is spiritual star 111 please only take what resonates with this message okay definitely take what resonates with this message there's a lot of eyes like i always tell you looking at you there's a lot of eyes or a lot of mouths talking about you but what people fail to realize that you know you could talk about me for only for how long how long are you going to be able to talk about me before you move on okay a lot of you definitely could be having a lot of headaches it doesn't have anything to do with any type of stress it's just because somebody definitely has you on their mind um a lot of aquarius is when you are free then you are definitely going to feel like you are literally on top of the world it's not to make you think that you are all that it's not to make you think that you know you're bougie or anything you're just living life that spirit wants you to live and you're moving forward okay so everything you need to know about me is in the description box go to my community board you will see the special that i'm having for reads okay um after today then it goes back up to 55 55 okay so archangel michael as you use me in the highest white light as i feel this energy or see what this energy is about archangel michael i ask that you have me give some type of choose my words clear and communicative message to whoever needs to hear this and especially the aquarius familia um, please and thank you, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Ancestors, Spirit, Guides, the most important universe. Now, keep in mind, like I always say, everybody has a gift, right? But it's up to certain individuals to actually enhance that gift or open that gift. You will have individuals more jealous of you because they cannot do exactly what you do rather than of them trying to find out what they can do, okay? You are a firework, okay? Literally, when you pop, pop, pop. There's no way of putting you out. And then you have those little poppers pop, 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 pop around you that is trying to put you, bring you down or try to slander your name or whatever the case may be. This energy is really, really weird, really weird. And I try not to, um, I definitely try not to dwell in it. I try to stay in a high vibrational space. I told y'all that this month for July is self-love month. So, you know, a lot of y'all may be finding yourself wearing a lot of pink because you definitely will have individuals with the devil card here. Definitely have individuals trying to manipulate you, try to come back into your space. You know, you may feel like you're restricted to doing things because they want you at that low vibrational space and don't fall into the trap okay continue to be that firework and continue to shine i'm telling you i'm telling you yeah 
hangman energy. A lot of people is definitely in some type of hangman energy, uncertainty. While you're actually moving forward in your spiritual enlightenment, Aquarius, others are not where you at. This could be people that you talk to on a regular and they're still not where, you, where you're at and they feel some type of way. They definitely feel some type of way. And I know that sometimes when I take a step back and I don't be on here as much as I as spirit will want me to be on here it's just because of the simple fact i get tired of explaining myself i really do i get tired of um individuals thinking that i don't peep game you may have individuals around you that you know they they can't make the sacrifice like you can or like you have so what they'll do they'll try to think of anything negative to come and say to try to you know make you from not fulfilling your purpose yeah seven of swords energy i'm trying to tell you don't want you to stand your ground or don't want you to seem like you're on that high road i told you a lot of times y'all think highly of yourself right you really think highly of yourself and it's not to actually you know make it seem like you're all that or anything it's just you're you're actually standing on your own territory you're free and a lot of individuals don't want you like that they want to put that firework out or that flame or that passion that you have out Yep, five of swords. Definitely some type of change that you are trying to do. But individuals would try to cause some type of conflict. They would try to sit there and play with you. Like it's some type of checkers or some shit. They will sit there and try to play with you. These spiritual attacks that is coming is not from spirit. Um, Yesterday, was it yesterday? Yes, yesterday a 17-year-old got abducted. And today, two 14-year-olds got abducted. This is not coming from spirit. These these attacks, what people are trying to do, what people are trying to say, it is definitely not coming from spirit. This stuff that's coming to you or what people are trying to do to you, they're trying to lower your pride, Aquarius Familia. They're definitely trying to lower your pride. That's why when I say stay high vibrational, if you low vibrational and you watching me, I don't even know why you are watching me. I, I don't really dwell. I used to say that shit all the time. You don't have to watch me. You don't have to watch me. But you your own person. I can't make you do anything. And I'm not trying to because I'm not your, you know, your mama. I'm not your daddy. I'm not none of that. But at the same time, if you have pride, stand in that pride, shouldn't nobody be able to put your pride down? Nobody. Because half the time, these people are cowards. They didn't grow up with the Father. Four of Pentacles energy. Or they didn't grow up with anything. Somebody feels like they have some type of possessive over you. Or by you actually having some type of security with yourself. Somebody may feel like they have some type of control over you. This may be an individual that you talk to every day. And they may feel like they have some type of control over you. But they don't. They just want to put your pride down, Aquarius. And do not let them do that. Six of Swords energy. By you actually moving to common waters, change of some type of space, or you need to. I don't know why is it so hard to just move on. Like I stated in my live, why is it so hard for me to move on from a situation? If it was some type of business or if it was some type of job, you'd be quick to do the throw the deuces up. But when it comes to an individual, why you act like you can't move into a new direction? What is holding you back? This may be some type of relocation too. Four of Wands energy. I'm trying to tell you when I say relocation, here we go. Why you feel like you can't have some type of new beginning with the full card? Why you feel like you can't have some type of celebration? Why you feel like everybody around you can have it but you? And that's why when these spiritual attacks come, a lot of people be saying it's from spirit. Spirit ain't got shit to do with it. Spirit is already telling you that you need to remain strong. Spirit is already guiding you that you need to remain strong. Spirit wants you to be happy. Spirit wants you to enjoy life. The reason why you have all these damn attacks is because that's what you want. It's like you're being blinded by faith. The Hierophant. You have to listen to your intuitions. You have to be that teacher. You have to put your morals, you know, where it needs and your beliefs and don't let nobody change it. If you talk to somebody new, you tell that person, look, this is my purpose. This is my journey. Either you're going to take the journey with me or you're not. 
I'm not understanding. I'm not yelling at you. It's just I'm passionate about what I do. Turn your volume down. But I don't understand why individuals feel like they can't have that voice. Why you can't stand? This is the age of the Aquarius. And you're going to have individuals that's not of an Aquarius or probably don't even know if Aquarius is in their chart. But you're going to have individuals feel like, oh, but what makes this person better than me? The reason what makes a person that believes in what they believe in and have some type of voice and be that leader, the reason why it makes it better than you is because they don't have to sit here and contemplate what needs to be done, how it needs to be done. They go and do it. King of Pentacles energy. Faithful. Somebody definitely may be coming to you. If you're dating, if you're not, then okay, cool. If you don't ever want to date nobody, I, I, I'm i over it. If you don't want to sit here and date nobody, then cool. But don't get mad at somebody else that's in a happy relationship. Don't get mad at somebody else that's dating. Don't get mad at somebody else that's taking trips because you rather just sit in the house, okay? Um, by, You may have somebody come in that's going to provide for you. You may have somebody come in that's going to be faithful towards you. You may have somebody come in that's going to be stable. Six of Pentacles energy because the universe is blessing you. You then gave back so much. You then gave back so much spirit. You then show so much gratitude. You treated everybody equal. You done what you needed to do. And spirit is like, here, let me give this to you. The universe is like, here, let me give this to you. Why? Because you are the chosen one. Your third eye is open. But you have to invite the, um, with the eight of cups, you have to invite it in. If you don't ever open up your voice, if you let people put your flame out or your spark out, you will forever be left alone. You will not be having that happiness because you will be in some type of with the strength energy, Leo energy. I'm not even saying the signs, but you will definitely be in that low vibrational space and you can't blame nobody but yourself. It is not hard to be in that ace of wands energy with that new beginning. It's not hard, but if you sit here and be indecisive and contemplate all the time, then it is. Nobody should ever put your spark out, Aquarius. Whatever that did not work out, did not work out. When these spiritual attacks, as y'all like to call them all the time, I never sit here and say, I'm spiritual attacked. Because I don't feel like spirit will sit here and send attacks to me. Now, I will say that I am being tested. There's a difference. I always say that you are being tested, but I would never sit here and say spiritual attacks because spirit is not putting attacks on you to make you suffer in anything. It's just that's what you, in your head, that's what you think they are, but they're not. Two of Pentacles, you have to decide that balance. You have to open up that communication with that eight of wands. If you don't say anything and ground yourself with the temperance card, what do you really expect? What do you really, really expect? You, I don't know why individuals let finances, seven of pentacles energy, have them in a low vibrational space. I don't know why individuals feel like since they have a lot of stuff on their plate, why do you let let that delay your success why do you sit there and have that lack of vision just because something did not work these people that see that something did not work while they're sitting there studying you and watching you when they see that something did not work aquarius they like that but as soon as you tell them oh no nah, this is working that's when they can't they can't stand to be around you or they don't want to hear nothing that you got to say Nine of Pentacles energy, period. Independence and wealth, all right? Having that wisdom. Doing what you need to do. Having that material security as well. Because these individuals want a tower. Didn't I not just say fireworks? You can't never put a firework out. But you have those little poppers that be wanting to cause some type of disturbance or whatever with you. While you're in your Ten of Pentacles energy. Mm. Ain't that something? As long as you stay in your Ten of Pentacles energy, you don't have to worry about nothing. Y'all better start singing that song, Fuck Nigga Free. I ain't gotta worry about a fuck nigga cheating. You know what I'm saying? I mean, 
sometimes these songs is not really what you want to listen to. But when you have that mindset, when you're married into some type of money or you have that family life where you stand into your own empire, you don't have to. You'll be in that nine of cups energy with that wish fulfillment while these other people are just watching from a distance. Scorpio energy. Stop saying it's spiritual attack. King of Swords energy. If you stand in your power, you won't have spiritual attacks. If you have the faith as a size as a mustard seed, you won't have these spiritual attacks. If you continue to know your vision, you won't continue to have any type of setbacks from anybody or having to blame anybody. Spirit just tests you, that's all. Three of Cups. So you can actually... A lot of y'all need, like I said, the month of July, I'm kind of glad this came out like this. A lot of y'all need to go out. You don't have to go to the club if you don't want to. You don't have to do anything that's out the ordinary. But a lot of you need to go out. You need to enjoy just you. You don't have to sit here and wait around for somebody to take you out. You don't have to do anything. Y'all need to take yourself on a date. And I'm not talking about a gathering. I'm not talking about go out and, you know, it's a, it's a group. Just you. Because that's how you're going to build self-love. Because if you can do it by yourself, when somebody else comes into the picture, it's going to be like, oh, okay. Yeah. It, it's, it's really not. I'm telling you. Nine of Pentacles energy. Somebody is definitely um, being conservative with you. You are going to meet somebody that's going to have some type of patience. You're going to meet somebody that's going to have some type of knowledge. You're going to meet somebody that's going to help you. King of Cups energy, period. Somebody's going to emotionally balance you. The high priestess is here. Your intuition will tell you this. If you want to. And then you're going to have the ones that sit there and try to ruin your life. Five of Cups energy. You're going to have them feeling in some type of abandonment or remorse because they could never, they were sitting there trying to shatter your emotions or not tell you what you know you needed to hear, whatever the case may be. So let them individuals go. Let them go, Aquarius. Close me out, spirit. Thank you. Knight of Cups energy told you. You got charm and attraction. Follow your heart. Ten of Wands energy with the Seven of Swords. Let this person go with this tricky behavior and risky behavior or whatever. Because I'm telling you, when this emperor or empress come in, whatever you prefer, you're not even going to be thinking about this. You're going to be enjoying your life. You're going to be living your life. You're going to be so happy. And mark my words, I'm telling you the truth. Two of swords energy. I'm telling you. I'm sorry, is that two of swords or two of wands? I think I said two of swords, but still... You're gonna, you're gonna, what's, you're going to feel so much better. I think I said two of swords, y'all, but <clears throat> just keep that in mind. Nobody could ever put your spark out. Somebody's gonna come in that's protective. Somebody's gonna come in that's about their business. Somebody's gonna come in and they're gonna help you. I'm really focusing on the new from here and on out. I, I'm not worried about what somebody else. I'm not worried about that no more. It's time for new beginnings, literally. And we are halfway through the year. So if you haven't had made any progress or made any type of whatever situation that you either need to get out of or whatever, then this isn't the channel for you, okay? This isn't the channel for you. Because we're all about new beginnings. We're about planning trips. We're all about going on dates. We're all about spending time with family. We're all about just staying in that high vibrational space, having fun. Because there will be changes to my channel. You may see somebody sitting beside me pretty soon. But at the same time, that's just my business, okay? There's a dog barking while you always have the ones that's chaos in the back that's trying to, dis trying to you know, disrupt you. If you have to change your number, block your number, relocate, do whatever that you need to do. We are halfway through the year, y'all. It is July. If you are still in this low vibrational space, this is not the channel for you. And I mean that. I said what I said. Because when I start doing these new messages, I don't I don't want it to be like, oh, well, you, you think that I'm talking about somebody else. I'm talking about new. 
But the only way that you're going to allow new stuff to come in is if you take the initiative to do it. Because you're not a baby. Nobody's going to come and feed you. Nobody's going to come and grab your hand. Nobody's going to tell you to talk. Nobody's going to do none of that, Aquarius. This is the age of the Aquarius. Y'all need to start stepping into your power. I don't even think half of y'all even know how powerful y'all are. But other than that, let me go. I have to go to my um opportunity. Definitely happy 4th of July to you all. This is another day in spirit's eyes. Um, Definitely continues on staying high vibrational, staying blessed, staying safe, staying healthy at this time. And just do you. Have fun. Step into your inner childhood. Do something for you. All right? Until we meet again, what is lifetime of the next, y'all? Namaste. Have a good day.